Hello YouTube, back with another one. Cue my intro, please. I'll do the best I can with what I got. Oh! oh. Welcome, welcome back to my channel, the Two More Girls Allowed Reactions, and we are still in the Promise Choco. It can't stop, won't stop. So, after the phenomenal live performance, um, I can't think of what it did to that, but um, it was great. <laughs> Everybody, y'all been beating down my block on this Brits performance and the Royal Variety. So, I'm like, I have two more. I got just these two, and then we can finally move on to the next single because y'all is not going to let me go to the next one until we finish the Royal Variety performance in the Brits. And so I went back to the poll that I did uh, months ago. <laughs> uh, and after the music video, the Brits was the next one in line. So that is where we are. So if you are new to my channel, welcome. If you like what you see in here, make sure you like, you comment, you share, and subscribe. If you want your one guarantee reaction from me per month, make sure you check out my Patreon. The link is below. And without further ado, let's get right on into it. Girls Aloud, The Promise, The Brits. Let's go. <laughs> y'all been waiting for the glitz the glam the camp it's all there it's giving everything we needed more but for me i love the fact that um the audio engineer has uh nick um nick i always get her nicola <laughs> her mic is all the way on and i love it i love the fact that i can hear her clear as day on the chorus I think that is just so amazing. Um, and then normally with, uh, it was Jonathan Ross. I just, it had to come back to me. Um, with the harmony with that, that I believe in it. In, 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 in. I love the fact that you heard all of them as opposed to Jonathan Ross. You heard Cheryl loud as day. You heard. So it's just funny how like just listening to the different performances, how with the um, the engineer who's doing the audio and uh, they're just in turning on, turning down the mics. I love the fact that we're getting to hear just the other elements of the girls. And I just, I'm just picking up on that and I love that. So just want to make sure y'all caught, you know, you caught that. Um, just how um, her mic is all the way on. And I love the fact that I can hear it clear as in the chorus. All right, let's go. Yeah. 
how she got hit with the, with the feathers like that. <laughs> I said, that's a rewind. Because Nadine played it off. She almost lost it because she was just like, okay, like I'm going to hit with my own feather. Great. <laughs> This is the best so far that I've heard. Um, Nicole, I can never say her name right. It normally is. I know it's a Nicole, Nicola, 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 Nicola. I was have to say nickel first and then la. So Nicola, um, this is the best I have heard. Like, did you hear like mama had soul and register in her voice? Like, the mic, like, her mic was on. Like, I don't know if the audio engineer just got a crush on her, but her mic was on. Like, Sarah's was on, too. Like, Sarah was definitely a walking primrose, honey. Uh, but who's in charge of girls so far? <laughs> Nicola is in charge of the girls for me. This is Because the mic is on, and she's letting you know my mic is on. And, baby, it ain't going down no time soon. We got to do a rewind on that. We got to do a rewind on that real quick. When I'm gonna see you again I got my hands all ready to touch your soul I'm gonna get the energy to wind me close to you Got my eyes on the prize I see hey. Are you watching me, baby? Hey. My heart is turning to stop me going I can't be saying I need too good to be true But I won't look in your blistered eyes That don't sound like Nadine. That sound like Cheryl. That sound like Cheryl trying to rip and run with the girls. That don't sound like Nadine to me. Y'all drop in the comments. Y'all gotta let me know because I wish they would have did a close up on who was doing that. Because it don't sound like Nadine. It sound like Cheryl was in her bag too. Let's go. <laughs> So that was Nadine, okay. So that was Nadine, um, the, which normally that is her note. I just it. She sounded so much like Cheryl towards um, towards that. But that's the best Nadine that's hit that high note because sometimes majority of the time that high note is never that clear. So the girls was feeling themselves. I guess because like you all have told me, like the Brit Awards are literally like the Grammys here in the states. So, like, it's a big deal to, one, be a performer and then on top of that be nominated and then to actually win. So, the fact that they won the night they perform, just a magical night for them. So, like, they really was in their bag and the girls ate, left no crumbs. Like I said, Nicola uh, charged the girls, ate them up, ate them up. 
ate them up, ate them up. She did, she did, she did, because the mic was on. The mic was on. And she made you hurt, she made you make you know sure that the mic was on. So love it. Like I said, we love the campiness, we love the glamour. Um, you know, of course, this is a you know, this is not this is nothing new under the box, nothing new, nothing out of the box that we've never seen before. But once again, the fact that the girl still was able to give the glitz, the glam, along with the performance, the mics was on, amazing, amazing, amazing. Like I literally want to see the Royal Bright right variety performance and definitely compare the two um since i know that one you all have told me that one's a little bit like as campus is gonna get like i mean you know as far as just like the look of just glitz and glam the girls are girling the girls are girling girling so definitely cannot wait to get to the royal variety performance so i can see the girls girling but hopefully like once again i hope that I have more audio engineering situations where I can hear, like, just, I want to hear more of, like, what's going on in the song when it comes down to their vocal, when it comes down to the stacking of their voices and the harmony and stuff like that, because I love the fact that I'm getting to hear the things that on the studio you don't necessarily get to hear because you get all the production and just the main portions of it. So I love the fact with these live performances, we've been able to hear the girls shine, respectively, um, just by folk not turning the mics lower and, you know, they're trying to figure out the equilibrium of the, of the audio, of, of the secrecy of the audio. But y'all drop in the comments. Y'all let me know about this performance, how you feel about it. Uh, you know, were, you know, when, were you watching when this first premiered back in 2009? I uh, would love to just know your thoughts. And I will see y'all for the next one.